Students, now let us see the third property that is associative property. Let us see what is associative property. An arithmetic operation star is said to be associative over a set of numbers A if and only if for any three numbers A, B and C in A, A star B star C is equal to A star B star C. First, let us find out whether the set of whole numbers and set of integers satisfy associative property under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now, let us consider three whole numbers 5, 2 and 6. Now, tell me what is 5 plus 2 plus 6? That is equal to 5 plus 8 which is equal to 13. Now, let us see what is 5 plus 2 plus 6 that is equal to 7 plus 6 which gives 13. Here we can see that 5 plus 2 plus 6 is equal to 5 plus 2 plus 6. So in general for any three whole numbers a, b and c, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So we can say that addition is associative for whole numbers. Now, let us see whether subtraction is associative for whole numbers or not. For that, let us consider three whole numbers 5, 6 and 3. Now students, can you tell me what is 5 minus 6 minus 3? Yes, it is 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2. Now, tell me what is 5 minus 6 minus 3? which is equal to minus 1 minus 3 which can also be written as minus 1 plus minus 3 that is equal to minus 4. So students you can clearly observe that 5 minus 6 minus 3 is not equal to 5 minus 6 minus 3. So we can say that subtraction is not associative for whole numbers. Next let us check whether multiplication is associative for whole numbers or not. Let us take three whole numbers 5, 7 and 8. Students, can you tell me what is 5 into 7 into 8? We know that 7 into 8 is equal to 56. Therefore, we get 5 into 7 into 8 is equal to 5 into 56 which is equal to 280. Now, tell me what is 5 into 7 into 8? That is equal to 35 into 8 which is equal to 280. So we can observe that 5 into 7 into 8 is equal to 5 into 7 into 8. So in general for any three whole numbers a, b and c, a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So we can say that multiplication is associative for whole numbers. Let's check this for division. Let us take three whole numbers 10, 2 and 5. Students tell me what is 10 by 2 divided by 5? That is equal to 10 by 2 into 1 divided by 5 that is equal to 10 divided by 10 which is 1. Now tell me what is 10 divided by 2 by 5? That is equal to 10 by 1 into 5 by 2 which is equal to 50 divided by 2 which is 25. So students we can observe that 10 by 2 divided by 5 is not equal to 10 divided by 2 by 5. So we can say that division is not associative for whole numbers. Next let us find out whether the set of integers satisfies associative property under addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now let us consider 3 integers minus 2, 3 and minus 4. Now tell me what is minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 4? That is equal to minus 2 plus minus 1 which is equal to minus 3. Now students tell me what is minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 4? That is equal to 1 plus minus 4 which is equal to minus 3. So we can say that minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 2 plus 3 plus minus 4. So in general 
for any three integers a, b and c, a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c. So we can conclude that addition is associative for integers. Now let us see whether subtraction is associative for integers or not. For that let us take three integers 5, 7 and 3. Now tell me what is 5 minus 7 minus 3? Yes, it is 5 minus 4 which is equal to 1. Now students can you tell me what is 5 minus 7 minus 3? Here by subtracting 5 from 7 we get minus 2. So we can write 5 minus 7 minus 3 is equal to minus 2 minus 3 which can also be written as minus 2 plus minus 3 that is equal to minus 5. So students you can clearly observe that 5 minus 7 minus 3 is not equal to 5 minus 7 minus 3. So we can say that subtraction is not associative for integers. Now let's check whether multiplication is associative for integers or not. For that let us take 3 integers 5 minus 7 and minus 8. Now can you tell me what is 5 into minus 7 into minus 8? Since minus a into minus b is equal to a b, we get minus 7 into minus 8 is equal to 7 into 8 which is equal to 56. So we can write 5 into minus 7 into minus 8 is equal to 5 into 56 which is equal to 280. Now students, can you tell me what is 5 into minus 7 into minus 8? That is equal to minus 35 into minus 8 which is equal to 280. So we can observe that 5 into minus 7 into minus 8 is equal to 5 into minus 7 into minus 8. So in general, for any three integers a, b and c, a into b into c is equal to a into b into c. So we can say that multiplication is associative for integers. Now let's check this for division. For that consider 3 integers minus 10, 2 and 5. Now tell me what is minus 10 by 2 divided by 5? That is equal to minus 10 divided by 2 into 1 divided by 5. Upon multiplying we get minus 10 divided by 10 which is equal to minus 1. Now tell me what is minus 10 divided by 2 by 5? That is equal to minus 10 divided by 1 into 5 divided by 2. Upon multiplying we get minus 50 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 25. So students you can clearly observe that minus 10 by 2 divided by 5 is not equal to minus 10 divided by 2 by 5. So we can say that division is not associative for integers. So students, we have studied the associative property for integers.